It has nothing to do with me. It's probably the most selfish and selfless thing I've ever done. It is therapy for me. I'm not going to tell you. I'll take that, I'll take that back because it, it's therapeutic for me. Every time that I tell it, it's, it doesn't hurt as much. I'm going to be real with you. When I first told it, it was very emotional to me. I had to take breaks through it. I had to go and take drink water breaks. I had to go not. I had to go. I was almost hyperventilating. Um, and every time I tell it, it's a little bit less. So I will say it's therapy for me. So I do take it back as far as saying it's not do nothing for me. It do do something for me because it's therapeutic. But on the on the on the on the flip side, if you hate when people say this, you're sadly this delusion, my brother. You're more delusion than actually even thinking that you are even close to anywhere near a woman. And I'm not atta- and I am attacking this man because at the end of the day, people who are raped, not just me, but women, because there are a lot of women doing rape. Now I don't know what it is like for a woman to be raped because I'm not a woman, but I do understand when they talk about these movements and how you could be the victim and people will victimize you. Now I would now I'm a <laughs> y'all know me. I'm a tough cookie. I'm a I'm a rah rah type bitch. Let's fight. Let's let's let's. Brr, that's who I am. But there are some people out there, some innocent people that are victims that ain't like that. And so, bitch, when you come in over here, what you're going to have is a rah-rah motherfucker. So bitches like that who are victimizing the victim, they, so this is why I know. When I, if I do, and if the law puts me and this bitch in the same place at the same time, I'm going to whip this nigga. I'm going to whip him, not just for me, but for everybody, for all the women he's, for all the women. Listen, I'm going to beat him like a man. See, this is what, I, what y'all not understanding. The nails go pop off, the earrings go pop off, all that fag shit go go to the side, and I'm going to whip him like a man, not just for me. For the women he's abused, for the women he's talked about, for the families he's destroyed. And now for the victims, he's trying to victimize. I'm going to whip him that bad. It's going to be a massacre. And because it's not just for me, it's a lot of pent up stuff from this dude. So I don't know. And I know, I know, I know, listen, I'm not trying to say, because as a victim, because I was a victim, as a victim, I'm the type of person, my therapy and how I deal with stuff is to fight. So I'm going, so my thing is, how do we fight? How do we end prison rape, in my opinion? And that's for me to tell my story, for me to go talk to these judges and congressmen, all these people that talk to for me to tell it to the New York Times, for me to do all this stuff like that, for me to work with an advocacy organization. All that's a fight. But I also think that my fight is to whoop that bitch. That's all I also believe my fight is. And that's just on period. Why are you mentioning me when this is going on? I don't know why you're mentioning me. Uh, you don't like me or whatever? Cool. But they're talking about somebody that in the case of this person who has AIDS and had was basically forced to come out with this on social media. Okay. Is that a, whatever happened to them? I don't know. It's not thing. It's whatever, whatever. But even the escorts that are escorts and have been escorting and all this stuff like that, guess what they do? Guess what they can be? They can be raped. That's not, just because they're escorting don't mean they deserve to be raped. 